I love chisels. <laughs> Can you tell? Yes, chisels. And in this video, I want to explain to you the difference between the bevel edge chisel, the firmer chisel, and the mortise chisel. Because they're not all what they may seem at first glance. They're not all just chisels, no. And also, no two bevel chisels are the same, unfortunately. So be careful when buying new tools. So watch this video and you might learn something. You might do, or you might not. It's up to you. Anyway, we have a series of chisels on my bench here, which I'm going to explain to you which is which. Yeah. Now, I'll start with the older chisels. And I'm going to start with ones that I actually use a lot. It's actually this one here. And this is a Robert Sorby firmer chisel. Now, it's a very simple chisel in that it has a square edge to the blade at that point there that's squared or perpendicular to the bottom face and the top face of the blade but it also tapers it's got a shallow taper it's not designed for doing excessively heavy work although you can give it a fair bit of wear and you know it doesn't seem to mind in the, the day this chisel is oh god this must probably to the how old it is, is it? 50s, 60s, it's old, whatever age it is, it's old. It's a very old Robert Sorby chisel, a very good brand of chisels. And I get a really nice edge on it, so I love the steel on that. It's a little bit softer than some of the modern steels you get, but they're really quick to get an edge on, and you can get a super edge on it, so it's great, it's great. All right, so that is a firmer chisel with a square edge, but there's other chisels as well that have a square edge, such as a mortise chisel. As you can see, this is a mortise chisel. But if you compare that one to that one, you see what the biggest difference is, is that the mortise chisel, when you're digging a square hole in a piece of wood, you expect it to be able to do a bit of leverage. Hence, the mortise chisel. It is heavier. It is blooming strong. Yeah, and this was, well, I used to use this for oak framing years ago. And it's a um, really lovely chisel, Robert Sorby again. Yes, I do like Robert Sorby chisels. Okay, so that's two, basically two types of firmer chisel. which have got the mortise chisel, and it's got the standard firmer chisel. Now, other kinds of firmer chisels, which are also mortise chisels, but also much lighter in, uh, in their construction, would be like a lock chisel. It's effectively a mortise chisel, but very, very skinny to go on the top, like lock um, draw locks and what have you. So, the, yeah, they're lock chisels. Nice, narrow, nice, thin. You get to the bottom of the mortises, and you've got a bit of leverage because of the thickness of the blade at that point. Great tools. But later on came the... Uh, well, the beverage, bevel chisel, I'm not going to give you dates now because I haven't actually researched it. Um, I can't remember what they are top of my head, but it doesn't matter. It's not really what this video is about. I'm not doing a history lesson there. So, um, this is a bevel edge chisel. So, think of the firmer chisel. It's had all the edges ground at an angle, as you can see. Now, this is an early firmer chisel. It's an old um, oh, Stormont, it, the brand is. It's quite old. And it's a, you know, it, it's a good tool. It's a firmer chisel. It's actually, sorry, it's not a firmer chisel. It's a bevel edge chisel. Now, if you go buy a set of chisels, it makes sense just to get bevel edge chisels. There's no real benefit in having a firmer chisel. This is how, yeah, this is just what chisels used to be like, you know, and then they started to do these uh, bevel edge chisels, like this one. It's more universal, it has some additional usage. Now, one is when you're doing dovetails. I quickly lit by eye to the really dodgy dovetail here, which just kind of demonstrates what reason to have it. Now, the reason to have a, a, a uh, bevel edged chisel is so the cheeks on the side of the actual um, chisel don't bind up when you're trying to pair the shoulders of a dovetail, for instance. So if you're using this one here, you wouldn't be able to get right into that corner. You just wouldn't be able to do it. You'd, yeah, you'd just get caught on the thickness of the blade here. So it's very important that a bevel edge chisel is very thin at that point when it comes to the end or the sharpened end of your chisel, not the handle end. Yeah, the sharpened end of your chisel. That needs to be thin. That's really, really important. Now, unfortunately, uh, some manufacturers of chisels, they don't quite get it. No, they don't. And these chisels, these old Draper ones, which were bought in 2000, I think it was about 2014. If you look at the edge of this uh, bevel-edged chisel, this one in particular is especially bad. And no t none of the chisels were uniform. 
in this set. This was a set of chisels that my son got me. Um, but none of these bevel edges are uniform. Now I'm very, very tempted to grind it all up and you know, make it into a usable, more usable chisel. Because there's no benefit with this bevel edge chisel than this firmer chisel. Because it's too thick on the edge. So when you're trying to peer at the shoulders of a dovetail, yet again, you've got that same problem that you have with that firmer chisel, you know? You wouldn't expect it with a, a mortise chisel, would you? No, because it's not what it's for. It has, a, it has a job, which is mortises, you know, cut mortises. So you see there, that's very, very thick at that point. Now, if I want to give you a chalk and cheese, if you look at this uh, Stanley uh, t uh, hair, it's 9002 Stanley. If you look, it's very thin, and that's a much wider tool as well. That edge hair is very, very thin there. That's how it's supposed to be. Whereas that one is thick. So this one will bruise the edges of the shoulder. Um, you know, and this one should not. You should be able to get in there nice and tight, right up against it without any real problems. So that um, old 9002, was it 5002 or 9002? I can't remember though. I think it's the 5002, sorry, these are, aren't they? Yeah, 5002s, uh, Stanley chisels. If you get hold of some of these, these were mass manufactured and they're really good chisels. Now, marbles do a nice set, but they tend to bend about here if you give them any welly. These seem to have more progressive hardening in the steel. Um, these stand these, and I know they've got plastic handles and what have you, but they're such a useful, usable ch chisel, really good chisel. Um, if you can get hold of them, I'm not talking about new ones either because they're just they're not, not, they're all in China now and they're nowhere near as good. Like the uh, stand the uh, hand planes are all made in China, in fact, I think they stopped production of them now, which isn't you know a good sign, is that for the industry? Now, this hair is an old footprint. Um, bevel edged chisel. It too has a nice thin edge. It isn't very good on its machining either side here. They fit one side a little bit more machined than the other. Um, so it's not that uniform. But at least it is thin there where it's supposed to be. And the same on the other side. Um, this chisel has had a lot of welly. I've really abused this chisel. Um, but it's by, by footprint. I think I paid about 50. When I bought this was about 15, yeah, 15 pounds I paid for that. I remember that. Good many years ago, in the 90s. But it's a good chisel. It is a good chisel. Um, 90s or early 2000s? Early 2000s, sorry. So anyway, there you go. They are, that's my point of view on the firmer chisel, as in uh, its progression into the bevel edge chisel. Just be careful, though, when you're buying your chisels, that they ain't too thick on that edge. That is my main, gri main gripe with them. Um, and also that they actually got a you know, decent bit of steel in them as well. So if you're buying Stanley's or something like that, you should be okay. But be warned, there isn't... They all seem to be a little bit different these days in the machining. And you might have to do some work to them. And the same with their hand planes. So anyway, that's my point of view on um, my little collection of chisels here. And I'm going to do some more videos on different types of chisels. So it was a request, so I thought I'd just... Explain. <laughs> oh, anyway, there's also different handles as well, but let's do that another time. So it's time for me to go, but please boop the old like button and maybe subscribe to the channel and the little bell icon because then you get one fuzzy thing in the pocket every time I upload another video. Maybe. Well, <laughs> is there any video ideas that you would like me to do? Leave that in the comments down below. Ta ta.